nature of capitalism, you know, is completely incompatible. And by the way, you know, the banking crisis here in this country is a very good example of political will, right? Political will, right? If the leaders of our country, of the United States and other countries, were able to mobilize not millions, not billions, but trillions of dollars overnight to bail out the banks, the bankers, and the bonuses, surely they can mobilize even less than that would be good to get us going, to bail out the planet and adult leaders and really need to ask themselves the question, what is their sense of intergenerational solidarity? We cannot live on this planet as if we don't have children and grandchildren coming after us, and that's what our current leaders are doing. Are you a religious man? I'm a deeply spiritual person. My mom uh, committed suicide when I was 15. That was a, you know, catastrophic, a catalytic event in my life. And uh, when that happened, uh, I uh, went through a very deep uh, struggle of trying to make sense of life and so on. And my mom, though, before she died, taught me, I think, the most important things in life. She always used to say very simple things like, it is much better to try and fail than fail to try. And I can tell you that one line is of great source of hope and inspiration as I do the work that I'm currently doing. You know, it's much, you know, you, and, you know, we have an option to be part of the problem and part of the solution. But on religion, she taught me the most important thing. She said, the most important thing about religion is to have this approach, and that is see God in the eyes of every human being that you meet. If you can have that as your view, don't worry about what you actually worship and where you go. Whichever gods there are in the world, they will all say that's a great thing that you've done because all religion actually tells you not to go and spend thousands and thousands of hours sitting in a religious institution worshiping, but then going and living a life that is ungodly and is not you know, community oriented. The best thing you can do is live your life where you see the humanity in everybody, and that's why when I see our religion is being distorted, because most, you know, in Hinduism, one of the things you learn is when you finish praying, you say, Om Shanti, 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 and Shanti is the word for peace, right? All of our religions are geared up to encouraging us to embrace a life of peace. Sadly, too many of our religious leaders have allowed our religions to be manipulated and have moved us away from the original essence of what religious teachings tells us, which is to care for the poor, care for the planet. Because don't forget, I mean, you know, if you believe in God, then God created the oceans, the forests, the, the mountains, and so on. And uh, we have an obligation to actually um, draw on that. And I think here in North America, some of the historical traditions of spirituality from the Native American people are exceptionally revealing. You know, the Cree people said centuries ago, they said, only when the last tree has been cut, the last river has been polluted, um, the last river has been contaminated, and will humanity realize that you cannot eat money. We should draw on the traditions of wisdom that exist. And you know, I was shipped the Rainbow Warrior. Why it's called the Rainbow Warrior is there was a prophecy of a Cree woman called Eyes of Fire who said a century plus ago that there will come a time in the world when the forest will, dis the trees will disappear, the fish will be dead in the sea, the w rivers will turn black, when these things happen, a group of people from around the world, irrespective of race, color, religion, or creed, will come together to try to heal and protect the planet, and they will be known as the warriors of the rainbow. And I think where we are now, we need people to step forward to be peaceful warriors for our children and grandchildren's future. Kuminari, thank you very much for being here today, and thank you very much for your work. Thank you very much for having me on the show.